Hi, it's Liz Thompson again, and right now we're going to show you how to create the most beautiful feminine garments with the, uh, the Pintuck foot uh, and the Janome sewing machine. Um, and how we do this to create these beautiful pin tucks that you see on these beautiful little camisoles. Here is uh, some more pin tucks on this one. And then on the nightgown behind me, we have pin tucks up on the bodice and pin tucks down, right down near the hemline. Um, to create a pin tuck, in the old days, what uh, a person had to do was fold the fabric in half and then take tiny little hand stitches along the edge and as you can imagine that took forever and ever and ever. Well nowadays with Janome sewing machines and neat things like twin needles or double needles we can simulate that same look. And so what we do with the twin needle in the machine, we have two spools of thread and we simply thread that through as though we were threading up for one thread. And then we have feet that uh, Janome uh, has for all their sewing machines. We call them pin tuck feet and they have grooves underneath the uh, pin tuck foot. I have the fine one with seven grooves on the machine and this one is a slightly thicker one with um, five grooves, did I say seven? It's seven grooves on the fine one and five grooves on the thicker one. This one will be for slightly thicker fabrics. This one is for very fine fabrics like the fabric that I'm going to use now, which is a soft batiste. Um, what we do is we set the machine to a straight stitch. We put the foot down and we press the machine on and away we go. And what it does is it stitches a beautiful little pin tuck. It raises the fabric up and then switch it off and press my scissors which will snip my threads beautifully and automatically for me and then these little grooves under the pin tuck foot what I do is I use those grooves and I put the pin tuck that I have just sewn into one of those grooves and I can then set the machine going and dependent on what groove I use will depend on the space between my pin tucks and then use my scissors again. Sorry, was that my scissors? Yes. And there we go. And I have created little pin tucks. I have them ready made here where we've got pin tucks with the grooves right next to each other and then with a little space apart. And then one doesn't have to use only a straight stitch. You can also use decorative stitches on the machine as well. In this particular version of Pintux, what we used was the hand look quilt stitch, which is something we generally use with quilting, but it's very, very pretty. It gives a very decorative effect on uh, Pintux. And then we can also use very fine narrow cording in different colors or plain white and that we feed underneath the fabric and we have the cording inside tucked into the middle of the pin tuck and because I've used pink and blue it gives a lovely shadow corded pin tuck so you can create all sorts of very very pretty decorative effects and of course the accent is on the soft and the feminine quite different from our bold and bright African prints. Then in, in addition, one doesn't have to only use straight stitch. As I said before, you can use pretty decorative stitches. And I've, on this particular one, it's a little serpentine, uh, zigzaggy type of stitch. And it has got two different colors, one in one needle and one in the other needle. And that just neatens off and gives a very pretty look to a little pillow. As you can see, Janome offers uh, this every type of sewer, every uh, tool and option and possibility available to them. In this particular segment we've looked at heirloom sewing or very very fine decorative French sewing by machine.